How's it going, everybody? Take a look. How'd it come out? I think it came out pretty good. These are three total sheets of a marine grade plywood called Aquatech. I try to leave the stamp visible if I can. I don't know which side it's in, but I saw it on a sheet earlier. To look around here and see if I can find it. Yeah, there it is. I've been using, oh, this is Hydrotech, but Aquatech is similar. It's good stuff. Super durable. I've got a uh, transom that I keep around, and um, it's literally on the ground, like not here, but I keep it on the ground to just test what the overall durability looks like from year to year. And it, you know, freezes here, snows, things like that. And I like to see what the elements do to the wood in its raw form. And keep in mind, it's not in a boat, it's just literally sitting on the ground. I have to go out and back and grab it. So I, I try to build all these transoms the same way that I always have. This is the third one that I've done on a video series. Take a look. You see how all the edges are perfectly the same? It's because I took it off already, but I clamped them all together. And then I went, went in with my grinding disc and I just made them all the same. And you can see I marked them from left to right. They're all the same, the one underneath it. And then this is how we have them sandwiched three quarter in the middle and then the half inch ones in the, in the, um, the outside edges. Overall, inch and five eighths. When we add the 435 polyester resin, we'll probably gain maybe an eighth, an eighth inch, give or take. And then keep in mind too, we also have to coat this with fiberglass mat as well. So this will probably end up somewhere around two inches by the time everything is said and done. Let's talk a little bit more about the resin. This is made by US Composites. It's called 435 Standard. You can look this up if, or if you need, I can leave a link in the comments field. Just post it if you have any questions. There's acetone. That's what you're going to use to clean up everything here. Because trust me, this stuff, this 435 is very, very smelly. So make sure you have the, the proper safety gear. And then this is the, uh, what they refer to as MEKP. It's the activator. They have different styles of resin. For this project, we're using polyester. On the prior red boat that we did, we used epoxy. So just keep in mind, as you start to do your stringers and your transom, make sure you decide early on, am I gonna use polyester resin or am I gonna use epoxy? Got any questions on the benefit of one versus the other? Let me know, I'll give you some answers in the comments field. But this is it. Only thing I'm gonna do next so I'm going to hit some acetone along the edges because the sanding wheel may leave some residue in here on these edges. We want to get rid of that. And then I'm going to clean the surfaces. Got our paper towels here. We'll wipe them down, make sure everything is nice and smooth. If we need to sand any rough edges, we'll do that. And like I said, make sure if you're doing this yourself that you round off all these edges because when you go to put the fiberglass mat around here, the fiberglass does not like 90 degree turns. Even this edge here, this is a 90 degree turn. We will have to sand this. And we're not gonna worry about it right now because well, we'll go about talking the specifics on how it gets mounted in the boat itself, but we're not gonna worry about this quite just yet. But these edges, sure round them off. All right, so anyway, let's go ahead and put our 435 we'll go ahead and mix it the instructions are available when you buy this so it'll tell you how to do it and then the acetone like I said to clean everything just make sure you got the proper safety gear and then clamps I'll go ahead and apply the resin to this side and this side I'm not going to coat the the outer edges quite just yet because we're going to do all that when we put the fiberglass mat on here there's no need to have multiple layers of uh, resin. Now, if you mix some up and you have more than you need, by all means, use it up, right? Because you're going to have to seal this, but don't feel like when you first sandwich these layers together that you need to coat this as well. This doesn't have any wax in it, 
So what that means is you can put coat after coat on it and you don't have to sand in between different layers of the polyester resin. But once you put wax in it, that's a, that's your final coat. Without... In terms of the devices that I use, the tools, right? These are the consumable items that I'm gonna use. And I got these from US Composites as well. It's a certain type of roller, right? It's a three inch by three eighths nap roller that's designed for fiberglass. And then I also buy a box of these industrial grade chip brushes. And that's kind of to help go through all the edges. I try to get a whole box of them, you know, at a time. Like you can get them from various hardware stores, but I like, for example, I've got about like 30 plus of those laying around. And then I'll go ahead and mix everything. And then what I'm going, going to do first is I'm gonna, now, now that I have everything cleaned off with acetone, I'll start with one layer and then I'll roll the polyester resin across the entire layer, drop the three quarter on it. And then on top of the three quarter, this one, I'll put another layer on it and drop this. You'll see me line up them all together and then we'll start clamping them. And that's really it. I mean, there's, it's not a lot to this process. You just wanna make sure everything is nice and clean and you know, obviously nice and straight too because you can't undo it. And these pieces of marine grade plywood, the Hydrotech is super expensive. So you just wanna make sure you get it right the first time. All right, so you can see here, I wanted to give you a quick visual. This is one layer, and then this is the other layer. So the reason I'm showing this to you is as you sandwich these together, make sure you don't just coat with fiberglass resin one side. You need to do both sides. Then I'm gonna take this one and flip it over on top. You can't have any kind of voids or any spots in here that don't have polyester resin so it's very important as you're doing this to make sure you cover and you can see I use my roller all surfaces 100% don't leave any dry spots because if you just put some here maybe put a big glob in the middle and try to stick that one on top it won't work so anyway I'm going to go ahead and now flip this one over on top of that one before the polyester resin kicks off and then we'll do the next layer there you go. all three layers are coated if you're wondering, I mixed up about one core, actually, I think it was one core, yeah. And I still have a good amount left over. So as I mentioned early on, if you do have some left over, feel free to coat the top, you know, don't let it go to waste. And if you can, when you get the clamps put on in place, feel free to do the other side too. I'm gonna take the chip brush right here. Once I get everything clamped, or I may do it before, and run some along the edges as well it's not going to hurt it's there's no reason to waste the polyester resin but definitely you can see here how i have some of it on it's it's kind of sitting there make sure you don't just leave it there i mean obviously you got to put it, clamps on it but don't leave it in a place where it could just stick to something because it will if you leave it like that overnight it will stick to that fiberglass or not fiberglass the resin will stick here and you'll end up ruining it so you'll see as we we set this somewhere for the night you'll see how i end up doing it so it doesn't ruin the veneer here so anyway without further ado i'm going to go ahead and roll some um, polyester resin along the top i may end up you know now that i think about it i may end up putting the clamps on it and i know you see my hands are bare it's just because i'm using the camera here, but I do have gloves on when I'm not shooting video. But I'm probably going to clamp it first and then put the resin around it now that I think about it so it doesn't lift a veneer up. I know what you're all thinking. So yeah, I'll probably end up doing that real quick and then get this thing ready to go. And then I'm, like I said, I'm gonna to try to use the rest of it up. There's not much, but I definitely don't wanna waste it. So anyway, here we go. Now I did do both sides and I finished up all the 435 that was in the mix-up container here. And I think I ended up using, like I said, about a quart, and I did end up coating both sides. 
came out pretty good. I think it was just the right amount, just for this piece here. So as you can see, I didn't put any resin around the clamps. I have done it before and it, they do come out, but it leaves a little edge on top of it. It's a really weird smudge look to it. And I figured this time I'm not in a big hurry. So I didn't, I just didn't do any resin around the clamps. The other thing about the clamps too, and this is something that I forgot to mention, but as you're watching this, just take into consideration is you don't want these clamps ultra tight because if you do, what you're gonna do is push out all the resin that's in between the various cores, right? You wanna leave that adhesive in there, especially around the corners too. If you just squeeze that, then it can end up causing issues. But this is pretty much it. There's not a lot to it. You just wanna make sure you apply resin to both sides of the marine grade wood, of the plywood. Before you sandwich together, make sure you have plenty of clamps available and don't tighten the clamps up too much. Just be aware that this polyester resin is very smelly too. So if you're doing this in an enclosed environment, just make sure you have a good respirator as you've seen in my prior videos. But this is pretty much it. Not too difficult. Make sure you got your popsicle sticks, chip brushes, rollers. Acetone is a good thing to clean up. So if you got any of it on any of your, your clothes or your boots or anything like that, acetone will clean it up. But other than that, that's pretty much it. We're gonna let this dry overnight, come back, and we'll probably do a few more touch-ups on it. We'll talk about how and what we're gonna do next in terms of putting this piece back in the boat because it gets, gets fun from here. Hope you liked the video. As always, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hit the like button if you thought it was helpful. Leave some comments, I always like reading them. Any questions, I'll answer them in the comments field. So as always, take it easy, everybody, and happy boating. See you on the next episode.